I think one that was maybe even better than I thought it would be. I was always a fan of The Who, um, and they were touring to uh, promote their Quadrophenia album. So as soon as the show started, it was kind of breathtaking that they had laser lights, kind of like a deep purple laser lights that went across the, the, uh, the stadium, and uh, that was kind of a new thing. So that was a little bit of a, an element that I hadn't anticipated, and that, that was one of the best shows there too, I think, was The Who doing their Quadrophenia tour. Before The Who concert in Cincinnati in 1980, late 1980, where there was a huge tragedy, there was general admission, and kids were trampled coming into Riverfront Coliseum. Uh, everything was general admission. And it was a much more wilder atmosphere inside places. I mean, arenas would let you smoke inside. And so I remember that Genesis show was in 1978. So it was one of the first concerts as a kid that I'd been to. And, because um, I was 15 at the time. I'd been to a few others, but. Um, <laughs> and people were openly smoking pot in Assembly Hall, like passing joints up and down. And, I, and you couldn't, before the show started, the lights came up, you really couldn't see the stage even though the, the floodlights were on because it was so dense with smoke inside there. Um, and it wasn't just tobacco smoke. I mean, it was, and there were people walking up and down those big things, just selling drugs, just walking up and down. It was everything that my mother warned me about and everything that I loved about coming to college. I was like, this is, the, this is where I'm coming to college. I'm coming to IU, absolutely gonna do it. My favorite, I think, uh, story about covering shows that I didn't necessarily care for, but the, the audience did, was Neil Diamond. And, you know, it's at the time especially, I was just, you know, not into Neil Diamond, but it was a sellout show. So I went, and I couldn't deny that everyone there loved it. You know, even when the uh, disco ball went off, and there's disco lights, all, everybody's standing and clapping and loving it, and I'm thinking, oh gosh, you know, I, not really into this. So my challenge was to write a review that reflected what the audience thought. So I thought I did a, a great job of, of, of saying they cheered this and they got on their feet for that. And I never said I liked it, but everybody there liked it. So who am I to say that it was a bad show? It, the people got what they wanted. <laughs> 